Hey everybody, I'm back with another exercise video. This time I've moved our exercise into my own exercise room, so you're seeing like my weights behind me and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try this angle. Um, I am having trouble kind of trying to get my head and face and my feet at the same, uh, in the same frame for the video. So um, I apologize if you can't always see my feet. Um, I'm trying, uh, listen to my my words and I'll try and give you as much pointers as I can on that. So anyway, we're gonna get started today. We're gonna do LSBT big. Um, so what we're gonna do is find a nice chair, uh, sitting on the edge of your chair, feet nice and wide, in our normal starting position. We're gonna start off with a little mini warm up. I'm trying to keep these videos somewhere between 30 and 35 minutes. So we are gonna be doing a little bit of an abbreviated warm up. So if you need to warm up on your own, either with a walk on your treadmill, walk outside, or whatever it is that helps you to kind of get warmed up, a few of our stretches that we typically, if you can remember those, but we're gonna kind of fly through a little bit of this warm up so we can get to the real meat of the exercise class today. All right, so warm up. We start off with a nice big deep breath and out. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And one more time. And out. All right, mentally prepare yourself for this exercise session. You're working on big posture. Also thinking about big voice. You can be as loud as you want. You're in your own home. Be loud talk loud, it helps your breathing and it helps you to work on your voice quality. So when we're counting out loud, count right along with me just like you were if you were in class. So feet are nice and wide, at least as wide as the rungs on your chair. Your chest is lifted, shoulders are back and down. All right, so we're gonna start warming up our posture muscles. We start off with our row, we're doing 20 of them. Here we go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. We go right into our alternating punches, reaching across our body. I want you to feel yourself weight shifting from right cheek. The left cheek and rotating your trunk. This is a warm up for your arms. It's also a warm up for your trunk. So when you reach across, you should feel that stretch across here. Let's do 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. Another deep breath in through the nose and out. Awesome. Now we're gonna do a little overhead reach. Up and over, we're doing 15 of these. Reach up as high as you can. I want you to keep your posture up, nice and tall. Give me seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good, we divided an extra one there, but that's okay. Extra's good, right? Okay, we're gonna get those legs warmed up a little bit. We're gonna start with a simple march. I want you to focus on keeping up your posture. So I don't want you marching like this. I want you still with that chest lifted and you're alternating those legs. Up, down, up, down. Try and keep with my pace. Up, down, up, down. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Keep going at this pace. Do the best you can. Give me 10 more. One, two, three, four. Keep breathing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome. Good, good, good work. Okay, step outs. Out and in. Envision yourself stepping over something so you get those hip flexors warmed up as we do our step out. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, up tall, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Same thing, other leg. Here we go. One, two, nice deep breath. Four, five, lift higher, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good, awesome. Okay, so we got a little workout for the arms, the trunk, and the leg. So now we're gonna get going right with big. So with big, you're back on the edge of that chair. You're nice and wide in this position. Okay, and again, I wanna remind you to think big. I want your motions, your movements to be quick, concise, and, and um, big, okay? So you're thinking about big movements. You're also thinking about quick movements, okay? We're not going out, down, up, and out. We're trying to do that a lot faster. So let's get started. Chest is lifted, shoulders are back and down. Shoulder blades squeeze together. We're gonna do 10 repetitions. You can watch the first one and then jump in when you feel you've got the movement down. Here we go. Out big, down big, up big, out big. Hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And out big, down big, up big, out big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember to keep those hands nice and big. Palms are up, fingers are wide. Here we go. Number three, out big, down big, up big, out big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And four, down, up, out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we go. Out big, down big, up big, out big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Number five, out big, down big. Up big, out big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Out big, down big, up big, out big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was number six. Doing great. Here's number seven. Out big, down big, up big, out big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Here we go. Number eight. Here we go. Out big, down big, up big, out big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Out big, down big, up big, out big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one. Out big, down big, up big, out big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Missed my class keeping me honest on my counting. So I apologize if I if I mess up on our counting, but I promise you, I'll try not to cheat you on, on any, but bear with me. Anyway, we're on to the next exercise. So that's our turning in sitting. You're still on the edge of your seat. You're still nice and wide. So you're gonna make sure that you have this hand on your seat so that when you turn, you've got that to support yourself. So I'm in this nice long position. And again, I apologize, you can't see my foot um, in this frame, but what you should notice is that this leg is what's important. It's trying to get as straight as I can. This knee is pointing straight to the wall. And my left cheek here is just on the edge of the chair. That's why I've got my hand here to help me. And then my arm is out, palm is up, hand is big. So we do the same idea. We turn, we hold for 10, and we get 10 repetitions. We're up and turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, count with me. Number four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can't hear you, let's get louder. Number five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we go, number six. And turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Number 
number seven. And turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember to keep your posture nice and big and up tall. Okay? Here we go, number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Number nine. And turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one this direction. And turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Super. All right. We have gone to my left. We're going to go the other direction now. Same principle, same idea. Turn those hips and shoulders, entire body to the right. My right hand is there to give me a little bit of balance. And I really work on getting long and lean. If you've been doing this exercise for a while, you should really be able to extend and really get yourself longer with this motion. Okay, we've got 10. Hand is on the chair, left arm is up, and turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Number six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Number nine, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. And turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Awesome. So we've done the two exercises in sitting, okay? Um, that um, the, the out down, big, and out. We've done our rotations right and left. We are now moving on to sit to stand work. Sit to stand includes two, mo two motions, two movements, two things to think about. A big reach forward, a big weight shift, and then that big tall stand. Okay, so let's see if I can scoop back just a tad bit on my weight bench here. Okay, that way you can see me a little bit better. So we get, we're gonna do five, okay? So we can really get the sense of what we're doing here. So we come out, we come up tall. Hands are nice and big, you squeeze those shoulder blades together. So let's do five, big reach, and up one. And big reach, and up two. Big reach, and up three. Big reach and up four. Big reach and up five. Good, let's recap. What we're focusing on is that big strong weight shift forward. Okay, if you have trouble with that without hands, you can certainly do that big motion here and a big strong forward push. The key is, is that you must weight shift. You must get the weight up off of your bottom so that you can then extend up with that strong posture. Let's do five more. At the end, we'll stop and we'll row. Okay? So five more. Here we go. Big reach and up one. Big reach and up two. Count loud. Big reach and up three. Good. Say it with some authority. Four. And five, stay here with me. Nice and stable posture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
15. Awesome. Good work. If you don't have, um, if you, you might pause this, grab a sip of water. If you're counting and talking as loud as I am, you need a little bit of water for your throat, okay? I want you to really focus on loudness of your voice. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I'm getting a good workout. I'm starting to sweat, which is good. I hope you are too. We're gonna do a forward step. Now I don't have my chair. In class, for those of us that would need a chair, we would have a chair to the side. And I'll cue you on where to put a chair if you're using it, okay? So right now, we're working on our forward step. So we're gonna do forward step right. Look like that. And again, I apologize that you can't see my feet, but I'm taking a nice big step forward and a nice big step back. So, what I want you to focus on is taking as big a step as you can. I want those arms to be back behind you. If you watch me from the side, it looks like this, forward step. If you are using a chair, you have got the chair on your left side. Okay, so it would look like that. We're doing 10, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Awesome. Okay, next one. Chair to your right side, if you're using the chair. We're going to do the same thing, this time with the left leg. Same principle, same big step. Make sure that you're bringing that leg all the way back to equal your other leg. Don't short step it and bring it halfway. Bring it all the way back. So you may need to lift that leg higher than what you think is necessary in order to get it back to its starting position. Here we go, left leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Okay, keep that chair to that same side. We're going to stick with the forward step, but we're going to alternate. So we're going to go right and left. It looks like this. Right, left. We're going to do a total of ten. Make sure you're keeping that chair close if you need it. Take as big a step as you can safely. Here we go. One. Two, three, chest up, four, look up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. Chair is going to move in front of you if you have a chair. We're going to do the side step, the lateral step. I call it the ta-da. We call it ta-da because it looks like Ta-da! Okay, so we're gonna to go to the right. Your hand stays big, you have a little bit of rotation. You can see my right leg is kind of rotated a little bit to the side here. My toe is kind of pointed more towards the wall. There's a little bit of that lateral movement, but a little bit of rotation as well. So we're gonna do 10 this direction. Here we go. One, two, very good. Ta-da, three. That's the idea. Four, five, big hands, six. Can you be louder? Eight, nine, ten, and back in. Very good. Same principles when you're taking those steps. You take as big a step as you can coming out, but you make sure that you bring that leg all the way back in. So you're gonna add that spring. So load the leg, push hard to get back to that center position. So we're going to the other side, chair is still in front. You're holding onto that chair and doing one arm if that's what you need as far as balance. Okay, here we go, we're ready for 10. Out, that's it. Ta-da, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Good work. 
All right, that's the ta-da. Now, just as we did the forward step, alternating, we're gonna do this one alternating as well. So we come out, we come to the center, we go to the other side, center, for a total of 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Very good. You've done the lateral step. Moving on to the back step. The beauty about being on video is that you have the opportunity to pause me at any time. So that gives you a little extra break if we're moving too quickly for you, or if this is too, if you haven't done a whole lot of this. And um, again, this is a little bit of a cardiovascular exercise because we do these exercises one right after the other. So they're really, it's not really intended for a rest break, but if you're new to these exercises, this may be a lot for you. So stop, pause, press pause on the video, and jump in when you can, okay? You gotta modify for what, what your needs are, okay? Make sure it's a need. Make sure you need to stop because you really physically need that rest, not because you want to stop because it might be a little bit hard. So find out what works for you. Okay, so we're gonna do the, the backward step or the take a bow. Arms start here, I take a bow, and I come back. I am a little cramped on my space here with my weight bench here, so I'm gonna show you this one to the side. So, I step back and I come back in. Okay, this is when I really wish you could see my feet. But what I'm gonna show you is that my right foot steps back, my left toe comes back, it comes up, because I'm weight shifted onto my right leg, so my toe automatically wants to naturally come up on this left side, and then I come back to our center position. If you've got a chair, that chair is with you on your left side. If I was here, the chair would be here. And I would step back. And I'd come back up. Okay? So, I'm going to do the first side. I'm going to do the step back right with, um, without, uh, with this angle. And then I'm going to turn to the side to do the other leg. So, we're going to start here. We step back. And we come up. Two, up, three, up, take a bow, four, up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Okay, so now step back. For the left leg, I'm going to show you from a side angle. We're up here, okay? You switch the chair over to your right side if you're using a chair, okay? Arm is up. We step back left. You don't fall over like that, like me, and up. But that's what happens. That, this is a tougher one. It's not, it's not as natural to step back as it is step forward. So if you need a chair just on this exercise, then use the chair, because this one's a little bit more challenging, I feel like. So we're up, we step back. One. That's it, I got it that time. Three. Four. Five. Six. If you notice, I'm reaching way back. Eight. Nine. And 10. Hopefully you can see my foot, how it kind of comes back to here. I'm lifting that foot up to where you can see it. It's there. All right, so that's the step back. Good work. You guys are doing great. I know it. Keep up. Keep with me. We're doing rock and reach. So rock and reach starts off with the right foot forward in a staggered stance. So it's as if I took my right foot and I started to walk and I froze. Not the freezing like we don't like, but intentionally freezing. Feet are still wide enough that we have a good base. Then we start rocking. Challenge yourself to get those feet a little bit longer in your stride. 
Because again, we want to practice big steps and big arm swing, right? This is our walking prep because we want big arms and big steps when we're walking. This helps us really get our balance front and back. So we're, rock, we're, rock, blah, blah, blah. we're rocking heel to toe. Here we go. One, big hands. Two, three. I'm reaching forward, rocking back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Big step back. Now we do the same thing. This time we've got our other leg forward. So we take that big first step with the left foot. I always say your first step should be your best step. It's that first big step that gets your walking pattern where we want it in a big way. We don't like to take a small first step because then we will get 10 more small shuffling steps, which doesn't get us anywhere. We want to be big. That's what we are. Now big rocking, big reaching, up tall, add a little speed in. You got it. One, two, Good, put some spring in your step. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, big step back. Good work, wonderful work. Okay, we're on to some twisting. The twist is a nice big Stance. And again, because you can't see my feet, you're going to have to really listen to my words as to what I want your feet to be doing. So when we weight shift over onto my left leg, what automatically happens is my right foot comes up. I've got my toe there, but feel that. Take a second to feel that weight shift. You've got your chair in front, by the way, if you're needing that for a little bit of balance. So, I can twist a lot better if I weight shift over onto that leg and I twist. If I plant hard on both legs, I don't get a lot of twist. But if I do this, wow, I'm really rotating that trunk, which is what we want. We want our trunk to be mobile and flexible so that when we walk, we get that rotation. So that's what this twisting exercise is for. So arms are up, we twist, we come back. And we do that 10 times. Hands are big. Up and twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. That's it. Same idea, other direction. Your feet are still nice and wide, and let's get this weight shift going. In class, if you recall, a lot of times we will kind of get that weight shift warmed up by just doing a lateral side to side, even a little toe tap, because if you can tap the toe, then you know you're really weight shifted. Tap, 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 okay? All right, so this time, sorry, I got an itch. We're gonna twist the other direction, okay? This time, it's this foot that's twisting and my heel is allowed to come up because I've weight shifted, okay? Arms are up and we twist for 10. One, two, three, Four, big hands, five, we're on the home stretch here, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome, very good, good work everybody. That brings us through all of the exercises within big, okay? You've done wonderful. So. We're gonna end the video today um, right here. 
Upcoming other videos that you will also see from me are some exercises for balance, coordination, um, strength for arms and legs with hand weights like these or using um, soup cans, uh, whatever you have available to you at home. So there will be other videos that will be um, will include power moves as well as uh, weight training. So we will uh, be looking for those as well because those will be coming to you soon. So that's it for today. Looking forward to working with you soon in person. God bless and stay safe. Thanks.